if the determinant of a a square 1 plus a cube b b square 1 plus b cube c c square 1 plus c cube is equal to 0 then the vectors 1 a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square are non coplanar then the product a b is equals to so we can write the determinant here a a square 1 plus a cube b b square 1 plus b cube c c square 1 plus c cube can be written as sum of the two determinants a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square 1 plus a a square a cube b b square b cube c c square c cube and so we can write here we can interchange the columns first column with the third column c1 interchanging with the c3 so we'll get minus of 1 1 1 a square b square c square a b c plus now taking out the common from the row from each row r1 a common r2 b common and third row c common so we can take out a b c and the remaining 1 a a square 1 b b square and 1 c c square now interchanging interchanging the second row with the third column second column and sorry second column and third column are interchanged so we'll have minus of minus plus times of 1 a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square plus a b c times of 1 a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square and it is given is equal to 0 so by taking the common determinant so we had 1 plus a b c times of determinant 1 a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square equals to 0 and it is given in the question 1 a a square 1 b b square and 1 c c square are non coplanar which means that the determinant cannot be equal to 0 so this determinant cannot be equal to 0 so which implies that 1 plus a b c must be equal to 0 so a b c is equal to minus 1 So our option is second option.